What's good, Garrett gang? And today we will be uh, reacting to my Lord's Point, my own video. I will be reacting to my video. If you like my channel, please like, subscribe, and hit that little bell. Hit that buzzing symbol that's on the top. And it'll let you know every time I post on YouTube. So, with that being said, I will, I'm going to go ahead and start the video and react to it. What's good, uh, family? I'm going to say family. I have not been posting because, as you can see, I'm staying in the motel. And... What that's considered is that I'm homeless. That's the truth. Um, I am trying to get things together. So all my uh, family, please keep me prayed up. Please keep me in y'all prayers. I have seen so many YouTubers saying they basically have been can't have been homeless. Now I'm here. I haven't been posting because you know I just ain't been in the mood between losing my um, kids, father, mother. Me and him have been together for 15 years. So she was more like a mother-in-law. Losing her. Being put out. And being here today. I just really ain't been in the mood to post and do all the things that I wanted to do. Cooking vlogs. I'm hoping and praying things gonna get better. But truthfully, y'all, I'm at the bottom. So, whatever you got, take care of it. Keep it. I know things are just material. Things are just material. Until you lose it all. And the only thing you can say, the only thing I can say is, where do I go from here? Um, what's the best next step? It seems like one bad thing after another this year. I'm praying this is this is hard, y'all. This is hard. But I got to keep moving and I got to keep positive for my kids. So with that being said, y'all just keep me in y'all prayers. And I don't know what else to say other than that. I know I haven't been posting, but sum it all up, I've been going through a lot. A whole lot. So, please, y'all be patient with me. And keep me in y'all prayers. <coughs> and, um, I keep y'all updated on what's going on and What's my next steps? Because right now,
I just, it's kind of hard dealing with day to day, just day to day. And I know people hear about people being homeless. I know I was one of them. I heard about it, but never been in them shoes until now. So I, I just keep myself positive and, and hope and pray for the best. Because I know it's, it's some better days coming. Y'all, please, please, whatever you do, look at me, learn from me. It's hard. It really is. And keep your head up. It's coming from a genuine place. And I know in the future I look back on this and see this and know that it's real. It's, it's real. It's, it's hard out here. And y'all, please do what you can. Keep yourself up. I know it's hard. No, it's, it's, it's expensive. It, everything you're looking for is just out of your price range. I know. There's nothing out there that is reasonable. And you got to do, jump through hurdles. That's why I, I, I wonder, like some of the YouTubers I look up to, they always say buying is the best option. And I'm starting to see that now. Buying a house. It's the best option because it's hard. Like nobody want to rent to people with not so good credit. People that's struggling, people that's on fixed incomes. It's hard. So with that being said, you know, don't do the same things I done. Do the best that you can do. Don't go out there getting loans. Don't go out there putting stuff in your name. Just don't. And, you know, y'all just keep, keep, keep moving forward. And people that's going through my situation. It's finna be a brighter day. The light finna get brighter. Don't give up. Please don't give up. Because when you give up, that means you didn't give up on everything. Don't give up. Because I ain't either. I'm gonna keep fighting this fight. And keep the faith and keep your head up. Keep your head up. Yeah, I know it's hard. And, and you never thought you would see yourself in the situation that you're in. But keep your head up. Please keep your head up. Because it's going to be times that you just <laughs> don't want to deal no more. Just be like, I give up. I, I don't even want to fight no more. You know, so I know that feeling. There's nothing out there for you, no income tax, no nothing. And you just feel alone. And there's people that's out there worse off than we are. You know what I'm saying? So don't don't give up. Do it all, don't give up. You know, just keep your head up. Pray it up. Keep doing what you're doing. And don't.
don't give up. Remember that. Don't give up. Because that's what, that's what the, the, the enemy wants is for us to give up. Don't give up. And because I, and, I know it's going to be, it's hard times now. Don't, and don't question either. That's another thing I, I want to put out there. Please don't question. Don't ask how can it get worse. Don't ask how can it get worse because sometimes it, 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 it'll show you how can it get worse too. And it will get worse. So don't ask how can it get worse. Just keep pushing and keep going. And I'm trying to vlog for y'all more. Even if, even if it's just sitting down, uh, vlogs, um, you know, sit down and talk and whatever. If y'all have some ideas, just let me know. And, and we can talk about it or not talk about it. But if y'all got some suggestions on what y'all want to see or something like that, just let me know. And we'll... We can talk about it. And I appreciate y'all listening to my story and what's going on. I really do. Y'all have a great day. See you again. I love y'all. And be blessed out there. Please be blessed. Talk to y'all later. So this time, we are going to react to what I said on my video. So, um, I'm staying in the motel. And what this considered is that I'm homeless. This is the truth. Um, I want to speak to y'all about that. I want to speak to y'all about what I said. When I said that I am homeless, at that point of time in my mindset is when you call people and you, when you talk to someone, they tell you that if you don't have a physical address, they consider that as being homeless. When I said I was homeless, that means I don't have a physical address. So, that's what I meant when I said that I was homeless. And that's it. Homeless. Now, I, when I said that I'm trying to get things together, what I'm saying is that I just got out the hospital, not even a week ago. I got out that Sunday. And I was trying to trying to accept the fact that I was getting out the hospital, but I wasn't coming to a home. I was coming to a motel. So when I say I was trying to get things together, that's what I meant by that. No more, no less. Just I needed to get my mind state together. No more, no less than that. Things are just 
it all. And the only thing you can say, only thing I can say is, where do I go from here? Um, what's the best next step? When I say it, it seems like I'm going through one bad thing after another this year. What I meant, I lost my cousin that was 20, 21, 22, 21, getting ready to turn 22, or 22, getting ready to turn 23. I still don't know how she passed away. And then I lost my mother-in-law. So, in dealing with my health problems and trying to get that under control, it was a lot. At that time, it was a lot. And it still is a lot to handle you being, you ain't, you don't have a physical address. You have three kids. You stand in one room together. I done been here now for three months, if not longer. You know, things happen. And people don't understand what you're saying or take things out of content when that's not, you know, you telling your story. You can't get mad about me telling my story. All right. It's hard. No, it's, it's, it's expensive. It, everything you're looking for is just out of your price range. I know. There's nothing. I, that is the reason. So when I said that um, it's hard, whatever you got, keep it. I was basically saying... Hold on to what you got. Don't don't take everything that you have for granted. Because it could be here today and gone tomorrow. That's basically what I'm saying. And uh, when I said nothing out here is reasonable, we didn't I didn't see houses where they two thousand, three thousand. Who can afford that? And they want you to make three times the rent. Some places. Or three and a half times the rent. And you want to fix income? Really? Things are not cheap. Things are not cheap. So what you have, you need to take care of it. You need to do what you got to do to keep your stuff. Because if it's gone, once it's gone, you can't get it back. You can't rewind. You can't go back to hands and times once it's over and it's done. You can't turn. You can't fast. This, this is not a tape. You can't rewind it nor fast for it. So, you got to deal with the cards you dealt at that time. That's basically what I'm saying. And you got to jump through hurdles. That's why I, I wonder, like, some of the YouTubers I look up to, they always say buying is the best option. And I'm starting to see that now. Buying a house is the best option because it's hard, right? When I say buying a house is the best option, I'm not saying go out there and get a house that you 
that you feel like you can buy. No. I said, I see now that it, it'll be smarter to save your money and do what you needed to do to be able to one day buy a house. I don't mean just go out there and buy a house because not all of us can afford it. Like I said, like I said with the income based people that just get a certain amount of money. It is hard to say just get out there and buy a house. Cuz if if we could, a lot of, a lot of us would already have a house. Bought cash out. It'd be what it is. But if you don't have it for those of us that don't have it, you got to do what you got to do and you uh, try not to get nothing that's above your budget because you ain't going to keep that place long either. I'm sorry to say it, but it's the truth. You got to live and you got to learn, and that's where I'm at now, living and learning. We're going to stop it right there and leave it there. Don't give up. Don't give up. That's what I kept saying. When I said that, I meant even though you're going through rough times and you're going through rough patches, don't give up. Because that's all the enemy or Satan wants you to do. Give up. Don't fight no more. Because it's going to be times where you're going to be like, I, you know what? I can't no more. I just can't. But when you feel yourself going to that path, pull yourself up by it. Just pray about it. Say, Satan, get behind thee. Because that's what I had to do. I didn't have to do that yesterday. Because he come knocking when he feel like you trying to move forward. I'm on day 16, y'all. Day 16 of the challenge. I really been holding on. I really been going strong. And I'm going strong because of my kids. Not just my kids, but me too. But majority of my kids. So I'm getting harder in these YouTube streets. I'm trying to get myself out there. So I'm going to keep working. I'm going to keep grinding. So if it ain't YouTube, if it ain't Facebook Reels, if it ain't nothing to do with social media and you don't feel comfortable, because in the beginning, I didn't feel comfortable. Sometimes I still don't feel comfortable, but I do the best that I can do. So with that being said, y'all don't give up y'all grind. Don't give up y'all hustle. That's your hustle. Don't let nobody, and I mean nobody. Take your grind away from you. Don't let nobody take your pride away from you. This could be your pride. If it's not, find something else. Maybe something else is your, your pride. Maybe something else you want to do. So, I, 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 at that point of time, I just didn't know how to pull myself up. I was down in the dumps. I lost my cousin, then turned around and lost my mother-in-law. It was just so much. And I'm just like, how can I get through this? I Every time I turn around, I just got out of the hospital. It was just a lot. So now I ask myself, where do I go from here? 
And don't question fate either because sometimes you be knocked down and there's a lesson in that knocking down. So with that being said, y'all have a blessed day. Until next time, peace. peace.